Okay, so we've got the second term of a geometric series is 9 times the fourth term of the series. So in A, it says find the possible values of the common ratio. So um, we've got here, second term, so T2 is, so equals 9 times the fourth term. Okay, so T4. So we can use this nth term formula here, okay, to um, establish what um, our values for the ratio is going to be. So T2, okay, so n will be 2 here. So we have a r to the power 2 take away 1 is equal to 9 times a um, r. And then we've got then, well, n will be 4, so 4 take away 1, okay. So this is the same then as a r will equal to 9 a r cubed okay so in this case then because we've got a common factor of a on both sides we can divide through by a okay because a obviously is going to be it's not going to be zero so we're, we're allowed to divide through by a okay and so they'll cancel so we end up having r equals to 9 r cubed okay um, and then there's there's a couple of ways you could go about this. Okay, so one way is to get the 9r cubed over to the other side. So you have r take away 9r cubed is equal to 0. And then we factorise. Okay, so you can factorise then the r. Okay, um, so then if we take our r out, well, we've got then common factor of r here. So r times 1 will give me r. And then r times 9r squared. Uh, will give me 9r cubed equals 0. So we either have um, r is equal to 0, which is impossible, isn't it? Because um, then we wouldn't have a geometric series, okay? Because the the common ratio would be 0. You times it by 0, so you wouldn't have a 0. So this is impossible, okay? Or um, you'd have 1 minus 9r squared equals 0, okay? which means then that um, 1 will equal 9r squared, so then 1 over 9 will equal r squared, so then to get r, of course, you've got to square root, yeah? And remember, with square root, you've got to do plus or minus. So square root that there, which means r will be plus or minus 1 third, okay? So those are the two possible values there for r, okay? The other way of um, working this out would have been to, to just divide by r here, okay? So, so if you divide both sides by r, you'd end up having um, you'd end up having one equals nine r squared, and you're allowed to divide by r because r can't be zero, can't it? Okay, as we established there, it's impossible for r to be zero, otherwise we wouldn't have a geometric series. So th those are the two possible values: either r is positive third or r is negative third. Okay. So in part b, then it says. Given that the common ratio is positive, okay, so in other words, positive r, so um, r is equal to one third, and the sum to the infinity, or sum of to infinity of the series is 12, okay, so sum to infinity is 12. Find the third term in the series. Now you've got to ask yourselves, how are we going to use this here to, um, to establish the third term in the series? Well, if you think about it, we, we know what r is, what we don't know is what a is. So if we use the sum to infinity formula, a over 1 minus r, okay, as we've got written up here, okay, a over 1 minus r, well, r is 1 third, okay, sub it in, and we're told that's equal to 12. So a will be 2 thirds then on the bottom, equals to 12. So take that 2 thirds over and multiply and we get a to be 8. Okay, so we know now that r is 1 third, a is 8. So to get the third term in the series, t3, remember we're using the formula a r to the n minus 1. So a will be 8 times r, okay, which is 1 third. Uh, n minus 1, well, that would be 3 minus 1, wouldn't it? which would be squared. And when you square one third, you get one ninth. So this will go to be eight ninths. So that will be the third term in the GP there.